Have you noticed how people and things are labeled? All around us, in advertising, social media, the products on the shelves, our professional and personal conversations, and even in the pulpit, we see labels. Well, hey friends, welcome to another episode of Called to Confidence. Today, I'm sharing with you some excerpts from my book, The Girl in the Garage, Three Steps to Letting Go of Your Past. And we're talking about, you guessed it, labels. What to do with the labels that you don't want. And we'll be talking about labels that you do want. What if the only thing standing in the way of changing your life was having the confidence you need? I found there's three areas you need to be confident in in order to succeed. Your mind, your faith, and your leadership. One or all three of these areas will always be in play. You are listening to Call to Confidence. I'm your host, Sharon Hughes, and confidence looks good on you. Dale Carnegie of Orange County is proud to sponsor the Call to Confidence podcast. Dale Carnegie is a world-class training organization focused on leadership, communication, presentations, and sales. We help people take command of their lives through taking command of their work. Friends, no matter what we're talking about, doing, or listening to, it's labeled as good, better, bad, best, helpful, toxic, new, old, popular, outdated, right, and wrong. Everything, even people, and really, it's quite exhausting. We have a tendency to wear the labels that linger in our minds from our observations, and the words spoken to us, especially if it's a label from someone we've trusted, or who had a strong influence on us, like a parent, a spouse, teacher, coach, mentor, or even it could be your boss. Well, what if the label is wrong? What if the label isn't something that pours into your soul and gives you hope, fills you up, calls you higher? What if it quenches your joy and causes your dreams to be shattered? Friends, there's a lot of labels out there. And if you're anything like me, you may have grown up being labeled as something and it could be quite painful. So today I'm going to show you how simple it is to start breaking up with labels. I'm going to read a list to you of words. And if any of these words resonate with you, just jot them down. Okay. All right, here we go. These are the bad ones. These are the ones that we want to get rid of. Here's what the label might be a failure a loser, a mistake, an addict, divorced, unloved, overweight or fat, homeless, unemployed, unwanted, not good enough, abandoned, an orphan, a mess, ugly, unattractive, dumb or stupid, a liar, a thief, or even childless. Ouch, those are pretty rough, aren't they? Well, long time ago, I learned this super simple trick, and it was to write down the labels that I didn't want anymore, and then I burned it. I know that sounds like so ridiculously simple to you, but it's really quite a cathartic experience, so I want to encourage you to do just that. And then I want you to think about the question that I always ask, what are you believing about yourself, and is it true? Those are truly the two God questions that I walked through several years ago when God was leading me through a healing journey. He asked me those questions, and it's become really the cornerstone of everything that I do, everything that I teach. They are the God questions. So once again, simple as they are, what are you believing about yourself? And is it true? So if somebody is calling you these terrible names or saying to you, you're a loser. Are you believing that? And is it true? I bet you it's not true. So it's time to stop believing the lies. So next, the good news is you get to label yourself. So how do you wanna be labeled? 
I'm going to read a list of words to you and just listen for what resonates with your heart. You'll know it when you hear it. Okay, here we go. Kind, strong, worthy, cherished, beautiful, courageous, adored, confident, enough, committed, smart, loved, wanted, healthy, wise, brave, valuable, sober, creative, trustworthy. Remember, these are your words to label yourself with. And you know what I bet? I bet a lot of those words are just for you. If there's a word that means something special to you that I didn't read there, add it to your list. But I'd really like for you to pick five words that you want to label yourself with. Those are your five words. And I would like for you to review those regularly. If you don't want to do it daily, you can do it weekly. But if you're really, really struggling, I would suggest doing it every single day and reminding yourself, this isn't about being perfect, but this is reminding yourself that you have value. You have intrinsic value because you were created in the image of the creator. So I hope this really helped you with this really simple exercise that's super powerful. You can grab a copy of my book on Amazon. And if you're having a little bit of trouble figuring out how to walk through these types of questions, go to SharonHughes.net and I have a contact page and you can book a no obligation meeting with me and we'll just talk about how I might be able to serve you and help you uncover the labels that you deserve to have and help you break up with the labels that you're ready to get rid of. All right, my friend, until next time, I wish you every good thing.